What's unique about it? Well, it's uh, based on a Stephen King book, uh, produced by Steven Spielberg. So as I like to say, Stephen Squared. Um, I think it's, uh, interestingly, I think it, you know, it's, it's a, the dome is, is simply a way to look at, it's a crisis, and it could have been any crisis, but this crisis is a dome. It's a way to look at how people react and, and uh, deal with things in a crisis. Well, to me, it brought excitement because, uh, you know, he's an icon, obviously, and it was great to, uh, to kind of talk with him and, and, and hear his views on things. Um, and he was very actively involved, which was nice. Um, but, uh, yeah, so I, I had him sign a couple books for me. <laughs> I think what it is is that y y you see that, you know, civilization is held together by a very, very, you know, a very, very thin line separates civilized people from chaos. I don't think we, we don't like to maybe admit that, but I think it's something that we all have in the back of our minds that, you know, if something bad were to happen, how, how long would it be between people, before people became extremely animalistic, you know? Um, and unfortunately, I don't think it's that long, you know? Yeah. It's rather quick. It, uh, sometimes I think people imagine that, it would, that they would do well under that situation, and uh, certain people are those who run into the fire, and certain people are those who run away from the fire. Um, different people react differently, and I think that's what this story is about, is how people react when they're put in this kind of situation. Yeah, he, he sees it as an opportunity. I think he's the only guy on the whole sh uh, show that sees it as an opportunity to kind of realize his dictatorial ambitions. Um, and, and it's strange, because I, I really just, to, 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 it was all about studying a politician. And I've always, it, it was really a strange thing when I started looking at it, and I, and I look at politicians uh, or dictators, you know, across the, across the time. And it's particularly in America, you, you have these people who often are very rich already. And they decide to do this thing where they have to shake a bunch of hands. It's a lot of work. They don't make any money. I'm like, why would you do that? It's because of power. And Big Jim, my character in the show, is all about power. And it's an interesting thing to explore. You know, why? Because I'm not that way. I don't know. I don't, you know. But to, to crave power so much that you're willing to, you know, do anything and everything to, to get it is a, it's an interesting, it's an interesting thing. I think that the concept of, 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 of civilization in crisis is something that travels well internationally and uh, um, because it has been huge uh, uh, outside of the U.S. as well as in the U.S. Uh, but I also think it's the, you know, it's, it's good storytelling. It's, um, you know, we like to know. I think there's always that thing in the back of our minds that, you know, like when I was growing up, it was always a nuclear war that we thought, of, you know, would, would end civilization. There's, and I think there's always something, you know, terrorism. Uh, in, in Los Angeles, we worry about earthquakes, you know, just wrecking civilization. And I think that's something that everybody around the world in some way can relate to. Uh, that's when I took the job because Hank was a, uh, at his core, was a moral and good person. And Big Jim at his core is, he, he's like a reptile. He'll do anything to get what he needs done. Not, not, not saying he thinks he's a bad guy, because he doesn't. Although you may think he's a bad guy. But he's more of a guy who is guided by expediency as opposed to morality. Uh, so they were completely different characters and it was, it was fun to explore someone who was not constrained by morality. It's always more fun to play that, that guy. <laughs> it, it, it was in, uh, you know, it's incredible and it's still kind of sinking in, to be honest with you, even though we f finished in March. Uh, we, we've kind of just th shown the season and we've gone through award season and it's um, it's amazing. I don't know, I'm not sure that well we kind of can figure it out until some time has gone gone by, you know, because we're kind of just in the midst of it right now. Mm -hmm. So it's, uh, but I can tell this much, the people I've worked with on that show have just been absolutely fantastic. Some great, great people to work with as artists and as people. I think that part of the enjoyment of a show like that is the communal uh, talking about it. And I think that's, do you deny that uh, to the 95% of the people who are so big fans that they watch it? Because you can get it. I said I would wait 48 hours. So that gives you time to, uh, to, to get it worldwide. Yeah. Uh, and I think there's a value uh, in, in the community uh, getting to talk about it. And if you're following me on Twitter, you know I talk about it. So you can either unfollow on Twitter, uh, and you have to avoid all Facebook, and you have to avoid a lot of, <laughs> a lot of media in general, uh, or you can catch up, you know? And I don't think it's my obligation 
to deny the 95% of the people who want to talk about it and feel that's part of the value of the show, uh, to deny that for the 5% of the people who, who haven't caught up. <laughs> I also think that the journey of that show is as important as any spoiler. I mean, whether you, even if you know what's going to happen at the end of that show, the journey getting there is, is, is valuable and worthwhile. Well, you know, I didn't even start Twitter till about six months ago um, when uh, people were impersonating me on Twitter <laughs> and saying things. So I, I um, Brian Cranston uh, said, you need to own your own kind of internet identity. And then I found it to be a very interesting and fun thing. It's a great way to interact with, with fans. And uh, we started live tweeting during Under the Dome, for instance. Uh, and you get to see reaction. I mean, you learn a lot about how people are reacting to things that are going on in a very personal way. And uh, I think it's cool. <laughs>